Zach Morris is trash. Zach Morris enters the school store where Kelly works to berate and judge her coworkers for being different. There's nothing in here any normal person would want to buy. Unable to accept that this store he's never been to sells stuff he doesn't like, Zach takes it upon himself to get these nerds fired. Zach makes his case to Mr. Belding. Their best seller is flesh-colored band-aids for nerds. Then age shames him in his own office. You know you've proven that people over 40 still belong in a workplace? Mr. Belding finally caves to Zach's bullying and agrees to let Zach run the store, but asks him to please handle this delicate situation gracefully. So Zach makes this announcement to the entire school. Will the three dweebs who used to run the school store please report to the principal's office? Zach gives the store a makeover, replacing all the school supplies, textbooks, and SAT prep guides with sunglasses, beach balls, and those books for kids that come with a bag of magic tricks. But for some reason, nobody is lining up to buy Zach's novelty clock backpacks. When the girls go to swimsuit practice and Screech leaves for photo club, Zach gets one of his signature great ideas. Screech, go get your camera. We're gonna take pictures of the girls in the pool. Yikes. Zach sends Screech in full scuba gear to take pictures of the female swim team without their consent, so he can sell them in a Girls of Bayside swimsuit calendar for $5 a pop. The girls are excited about the new customers, until they see the giant cardboard cutouts of some super casual candid moments of practice, advertising the unauthorized calendars. They demand Zach stop selling them immediately. He refuses. Mr. Belding tells Zach to destroy every last calendar, when a strange man with a goatee appears who was drawn to the school thanks to the photos of underage girls in bathing suits that his friend who works at a print shop showed him. He says he's a fashion magazine photographer, and is looking for three models for an upcoming spread on high school fashion, which everyone believes even though this creep looks like he got dressed in the dark. The girls jump at the chance to be famous, and Zach says he's happy to recommend them as the best models in the calendar if they agree to let him keep selling. The girls agree to Zach's extortion. The girls have a photo shoot all over school, including at the student store, which means they had to close it for business. And the pictures turn out great. So great that this man, who they just met and for some reason still believe works in fashion despite that shirt, wants to take Kelly to Paris for a month for more photo shoots. Zach narcissistically makes this all about him, and decides to sabotage Kelly's potentially life-changing opportunity. If Kelly goes to Paris, she'll forget about me forever. Gotta find some way to make her stay. Zach begins psychologically manipulating Kelly, first reminding the girls that Paris means she'll miss their upcoming swim meet, then telling Slater Paris means she won't be able to work with him on their science project, then asking Screech to pretend to cry, and telling Kelly he doesn't want to make her feel bad or anything, but Screech is crying because she's missing his birthday next week. Gosh, I feel like I'm disappointing everybody. The gang tries to take Kelly to a goodbye lunch, but she can't make it because of one last photo shoot. Zach says he'll invite everybody to the photo shoot, which sounds great to Kelly. Then Zach turns around and lies to his friends that Kelly doesn't want them there because it's unprofessional. Zach arrives at Kelly's photo shoot alone and says nobody came because they're angry at her for all the ways she's let them down. This emotionally destroys Kelly, forcing her to run off the set in tears. The creep in the ugly shirt sees right through Zach's mind games, shames him for taking away Kelly's opportunity, and is somehow the voice of reason in all this. Zach shows up to Kelly's house to confess and apologize, and gives her permission to go to Paris, because he still thinks he owns her, because he never learned anything. Let's review. Zach Morris got three innocent students fired, turned a high school student store into his personal toy chest, sold illegal swimsuit photos of his underage classmates, which brought this creep out of the woodwork, and when this gave Kelly a life-changing opportunity, he psychologically manipulated her into feeling bad about it, and never learned any Anything from any of it, Zach Morris is trash. Zach Morris is trash.